it's strange to imagine that this yellow shiny thing is getting lighter by more than 4 billion kilograms every second. But how can we actually know such a thing? Our sun is a huge source of electromagnetic radiation, which we call light. Since we live in the 21st century, we are more than able to create a device that measures the amount of radiative power around our planet. If you measure the sun's power around the Earth, you would measure 1362 watts per meter squared. This is also called the solar constant. Now, since we know the sun's power per one meter squared, we can multiply this by the total area of a sphere around the sun with a radius of 150 billion meters, which is the distance between the Earth and the sun. So the equation for area of a sphere is 4 pi times r squared, which gives us roughly 2.83 times 10 to the 23 meters squared, and multiplying this by the solar constant, you get the total power of our sun. When you make these calculations, you get that the total power of our sun is 3.85 times 10 to the 26 watts, which tells you the amount of energy our sun produces in joules every second. Now it's time to use the famous Einstein's mass energy formula, which says that the energy is equal to mass times the speed of light squared. Since our sun is producing 3.85 times 10 to the 26 joules every second, we can just divide it by the speed of light squared and we get the amount of mass our sun is expelling into the space every second in a form of light. So this is why the sun is lighter by 4.28 billion kilograms every second, which seems like a lot, but if you consider the total mass of our sun, which is 2 times 10 to the 30 kilograms, then you will find out that it is just this small percentage of the sun's total mass every second, which is roughly 0.0067% of sun's mass per billion years. So we don't have to worry that our sun is gonna disappear anytime soon. Actually, we have quite the opposite problem. Our sun is actually increasing in luminosity by about 6% every billion years, which will make the life on our planet impossible in about 1.1 billion years. So thank you for watching this video and again, feel free to ask questions in the comments and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.